Sam, can I get a Miller, please? Down the tube. Can I get a Miller, yes. a Nitro Cold Brew? <laughs> You don't PG even know. Tips, you haven't even seen my kombucha. Where'd it go? Oh my god! I love chucking bevs, dude. Where did they get to you? I love chucking bevs, man. Oh my god! Oh my god! From oh my god! I can has cheeseburger. <laughs> Fuck! Oh my I god! Can has has the cheeseburger. <laughs> this is um. This is um. <laughs> dipshit Holmes. <laughs> dipshit Lock Holmes. Err. I have to durst. <laughs> Er, I'm the dirty retard. <laughs> er, the dirty Are you talking man. about Trick Shorty again? <laughs> Is that Trick Shorty drop? Um, <laughs> trick Shorty. <laughs> trick Shorty. <laughs> trick Shorty. Er, my God. He must have done it in the study with the candlestick. Er, my God. Let's ask Jeeves. Er, my God. Let's go to ask Jeeves for this one, Wurtson. Wurtson. <laughs> Pearl up, ask Jeeves. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Jeeves something. <laughs> Richie, pull up Dreer City. <laughs> oh, er, Watson, Watson, pull up Dreer City. <laughs> <laughs> I want to look at my friend's web page. <laughs> so that was <laughs> Dip Sherlock, Dip Shitlock. Dip Holmes. Shitlock. Dip Shitlock, Trick Shorty's good friend. Trick Shorty's friend of all time. What's Trick, Trick Shorty's what's Trick, friend of all time? What's Trick Shorty like <laughs> of our time? More like Trick Shorty's like the more big, like Trick Shorty's friend of our time. There it is. Trick Shorty has um he has like Harley Quinn pant, bell bottom pants. And what are we talking about? Man? <laughs> he's like a big shirts. He loves he has big, big shirts. shirts. He has um he has like that Lithuania basketball shirt. The um, Grateful Dead one. I want oh, to. Cool. Sh- yeah, it's got a big hole in it. Where so I'm on a right trip. over the belly button, right over the belly button. Yeah, he can stick a whole quarter in his belly button. I want to convey. Damn, I want to convey a vibe. To you money's guys. notoriously dirty. Do you know this? You're like stopping used, me from talking about something when I was good. A, when I was a to kid, talk, to do poorly. When I was a kid, you're stopping to, me in order to do poorly. He's about to say something cool. When I, when I was a kid, I used to lick money all the time, <laughs> like swallow money. Is that genetic? <laughs> Or I guess it couldn't be. So it's it nurture. Be. It's nurture. I was adopted by it's them. nurture. Then they say. Yeah, I used to make whole meals out of like I used to make whole meals out of like pennies and dimes. <laughs> really? Yeah, like you put ham- them on a plate and stuff. I'd hamburger like two dimes between two pennies. A butter knife patties, and a fork. The patties were the dimes. What What would you eat it with? But utensils. The patties were the dimes. Finger food. What is finger food? You get a you get one of those Sacagawea um, coins and. God, you could, you, you could eat food for, for weeks a week. on that. Yeah, can eat fifty cent. You're like, mom, I'll be back in a week. I'm going out in the woods. <sighs> yeah, right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a joke based on a stereotype, but then you just break it completely. <laughs> I don't have. I don't believe in stereotypes, Brandon. Right? That's the thing between me. Right, and you, you just believe they're all true. Apart. You believe there's not stereotypes. There's just <laughs> truth. Well, they all come from somewhere, man. <laughs> I well, like when people hit me with like, well, the reason they're stereotypes is because they're true. Right. <laughs> people basically say that, but they say like, well, they all come from somewhere. Right. It's like, couldn't possibly so you mean be it's their kind of true. <laughs> well, it's like, I get what they're saying and it might even be so. It's like maybe something's more popular with one group, but sometimes they say that and it feels like they mean like, yeah, well, the thing is like, it's basically true. <sighs> God. You're like a you're like a podcast terrorist. You're fucking. You're bitch, like a, a podcast terrorist by choice, and you terrorize me by giving it nothing. <laughs> you do the same to me, man. Never, no, yeah. never. God. I don't think so. I think I try to keep it going. <sighs> no, Who are you, you calling a terrorist? Mostly Jack. Okay, because I feel like I'm guilty. Well, you'll you'll um do like a. You'll do, be like the bully from a Christmas story where he's like, yeah, that's right. You know, like you're the, but, but you stand behind the main bully and you just kind of like, so Jack will give it oh, nothing on purpose. That's even more cutting. That'll, that'll that give, is so cutting, Jack dude. will give it nothing on purpose that to be a podcast so... terrorist and then you'll be like, just kind of give it the I stare. I suppose. I thought I was just. No, I'm just making it up. This is what's crazy is that I should have known that what would happen is if I said that, you yeah, would go, I would go. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Without not trying fail. to do Without that. Without fail, yeah. 
Yeah, Goat, goat Getters Anonymous. This guy yeah. used to go to. Oof, my Brennan's goat just uh, got easy. Furry. I'm a furry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember when you showed up with your... With your furry, remember master, when I showed up to this chief? recording session in a whole dog suit with a five thousand dollar helmet? Yeah, and I was like, "All right, let me get undressed." It's weird. I've never seen a furry suit that had like a, a penis on built the outside. In on the outside. <laughs> I never saw a furry suit that had a photorealistic penis built on the outside. That's just like a real tiger's. Yeah. My first owner, I, know, I, I think would you be for a that tiger. Because you really seem like small you're pretty... for how big the well, that's suit just is. anatomically. Yeah, they have smaller I, I, penises. That's what I was about to say. Is that yeah, you're actually a fucking idiot. You probably didn't even think of that. The artisan that I'm you not. paid to make that, you must have to tell them like, <laughs> I want this to be accurate and correct. To accurate to and, my size of my body. How are you holding that? How are you holding that though? Well, well and true. I'm seeing a classic technique on the I... bo- on the bottom of the mic. I'm seeing a sort of classic. Yeah, there All we right. go. Jeez. You remind me of Mark Duplass. <laughs> That's such a funny thing to say to somebody because it's it almost means nothing. Like I wouldn't know how to interpret that if someone said it. Like if someone said you remind me of Mark Duplass, I'd be like, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's he's good a or bad. Or movie maker. I know, but he's not really. He doesn't have a strong thrust to himself as a person. I feel like he's on the league. He was on the league. Have we? Have I ever discussed that? <laughs> that Sacramento <Maybe>. trip <laughs> where I like realized uh, uh, where I like discovered depression or looked it in the <laughs> face or something there's just this time I I watched uh, my aunt and uncle were like oh come house sit for us and watch our dogs uh, for like a week or something and I was like oh awesome just one of which was sick right r- well yeah sick in the head no sick uh, like like uh, chronically ill because it was like how old were you? Failing. This would have been like freshman or sophomore year of college. Okay, but I was like, oh, awesome! Like seven days in this nice house with these dogs can do whatever I want. Can't wait. Yeah, you know. And then it's like you have free time, no school, and I was like, oh, okay. What I what I'll do if I have just empty time for seven days is I'll just watch all of the league. And go to Dutch Bros like four times a day because I just don't know what else to do. Well, we bonded over that because I also watched the league and I didn't find it to be like that great of a show. I almost even I wasn't enjoying it. it. No, yeah, it's wasn't. the kind of depression watch where it's not an <laughs> you just enjoyable watch show. All You're of doing it. it. Yeah, it's it's sort of a punishment. You're punishing or yourself just a tiny like, bit. Um, it's like nothing. It fills it's the sort time. of. It's it's, fills it's a time filler, time, but it yeah. is at a certain point with it's those shows. It's sort of like dread. Remedy. It does. It does become sort of a punishment. You're getting like you're like three seasons in. You're like, uh, I <laughs> will finish the league. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I I am just like. Just I, it just was an interesting realization about myself to be like, oh, if I don't try, what I'll do is lay down. That's what I'll do. Like I, I'm not going to naturally feel like. Well, I'll do all this yeah. cool stuff with all this free time. Well, house sitting, house sitting is a big. It's a depression. That's right. a big depression move. And I had an ac- definitely access to a car, and I was all excited about that. And like I was like, oh, I should do something fun, right? I know I'll go to like Goodwills in the Sacramento right. area. I remember <laughs> I went to one, and it. So I went to a couple and there's like not even good shit there and it sucks. And it's like, I should have known like Goodwill can be kind of sad. For sure. Too. Yeah. So you yeah. go into Goodwill and you're a like, bad, a bad Goodwill be, is sort of like, you're just looking at a bunch of trash. trash. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You're looking at like trash like, under fuck. fluorescent and like it's playing like old music. You're like, fuck, this is the only activity I could think of. Today. Exactly. Yeah. I was the like, air's all thick. I'm like, how fucking dumb am I that Smells I'm like, I'm going to go look at trash and buy trash and that'll, yeah. that'll make me make You come out with good. something. You end up coming out. <laughs> come you go to the Goodwill and it's like, this is the worst Goodwill I've ever been to. You come out with a broken thing. Yeah, a broken. That's what I would do. That's probably, I could have done that. That's a good guess. I don't remember. Yeah. But I remember saying so I'm like, oh, that's fun. Then I went to one. It was a bins. And I didn't know it was going to be a bins. Yeah. I just didn't even go in. Like I got You're out scared. of the car and just You're looked just in. Scared. And I was like, no, it's just like I just been to like two. Because in my mind, I'm like, I'll go to multiple. That's fun. Go see all. And I get I to get, the I bins get goodwill one. sickness after one. But that's what I'm saying. So I get to the yeah, bins. You get and I'm parked outside like the big warehouse building. And I look in and I see all the other sad people going through the clothes. 
I just couldn't even bring my. Myself. Going to a I Goodwill's just, like, bin, stood in front Goodwill of my car. Bins, going to a Goodwill bins and already being <laughs> juiced before you go there. You're just you. There's no energy left. No. Yeah, that's a good move is to not go in. Well, going it's to, also going to, going you to might have bins, finished it. You might have finished it I might all have after completed that. Completed the cycle if I got going in. Going to the bins. No, is I'm like, saying you might have ended it. That's what I'm saying. After I might have the bins, seen, you might have been like. I might have done a looper. Like you I might have been be like, cool is to kill myself in my aunt's house. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is I would have. I'm saying you know I would have cool loopered out. If my aunt would have to find me dead at her house, because I would have gone into the bins and I would have had the real realization of like, I'm so stupid. Like I don't know what to do. And then I would have been looking around at the people really excitedly picking through the clothes, and I yeah. would have been like, at the, I would have been like, well, I they're not. See I, wouldn't it. I see it. I wouldn't It'll say they're usually this. excited. It'll I wouldn't be this say that they're excited. excited. What if it's you? Oh, go, they're more I'll like just uh, keep, I'll just keep thinking going to Goodwill is cool. I you think go to the bins for a couple thousand more days. Bins and there's a portal, and you get you accidentally get way older, and then you shoot backwards through time, and you see yourself laying on the couch watching the league. You're much older, and it is like Looper, and then you have to go backwards in time. And kill your forward self, and it's also like 2001. It's like at the end of a space odyssey. Wait, where you have like, to go backwards in time and kill yourself to, to stop save myself yourself from, from watching the league. <laughs> I have to shoot my oh. young self. I'm the old. I'm my old self. You're Bruce shooting Willis. my young self <laughs> to stop myself from ever having seen the league. I would say. I would say house sitting. I, I've had. I had an enlightening house sitting experience once. Right. I wouldn't say I discovered depression. I was already acquainted with it. But I discovered like a new level of depression. This is accurate. I didn't know it's, what to call like it a, until then. You it's know? like a, I, I was house sitting out at a, at a like a place in the country, and I didn't have my own car, and I didn't have whoa. I didn't Here we have. Go. I didn't have a. Um, it was before I had an iPhone, so I had a flip phone, and there was no service there. So I had no phone. I had no way to contact anyone. I was out there for two weeks. Oh my god. <laughs> I was 19 and I, um, it, it honestly became a blur. I don't remember a ton of it. I remember I gave myself tattoos, which is not, and not in a, like a cool way, like in a bad, like I was losing my mind kind of way. And I listened to, uh, like a really fucked up album. I forget the album, but it's like pill or something. I think I just looked at, listened to that on poo, blast. Poo, piss, Pucifer? Pucifer. <laughs> You're blasting Pucifer. And so essentially, you know, something fucked. I don't yeah. know. It was kind of like harsh music. I blasted it 24 7 for just two weeks and I kind of like lost. I just lost track of time. One time I took the ATV out. They had an ATV. I got stuck. I tried to take the, I was like, this will be fun. Like they told me I could use this. <laughs> little, I got little completely, dream. I got completely fucking stuck. Just a little dream. Just dashed. <laughs> yeah. Just dashed on the rocks. Your little <laughs> stupid dream of having fun on the ATV. There's like eight animals out there. There's like, you know, five cats and like three dogs or something. Oh, they start know, talking. This is you. unlocking a memory for me too. I, I also know obviously about depression, but, um, I, I house it for some friends and, they have like two little dogs and I did it. I've done it a couple times. And one time I was doing it for a particularly long time. It was like five days. And I was like supposed to take, you know, take them out and run them around. There's like a lot of property and they go and piss and shit and stuff. I don't know what I was just like tired or depressed or watching a lot of TV. And I was like, man, they're really not like going out and shitting and like peeing when I take them out. Like <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> And so, like, it's the, the last day, and I'm, like, cleaning all this stuff, making it look like I've never been there. And I look under the dining table, and there's just piss and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> I just well, didn't, you didn't smell, smell it yeah, or what anything. Like, I'm just a fucking idiot, like, in the house. Well, you like, know what? I think, uh, I think watching, like, Nicolas there's something Cage that happens, movies. And, house sitting, there's something that happens where you're, you're like there's a disconnect, especially if you're in a different place and you know it's far enough away from where you live. Well, you're alone, and you're alone, fully alone, fully yeah. alone, and like there's something that happens. Your brain switches over to just like like I'll just let the dogs. I mean, you basically let the dogs shit under the table for a whole week. That's the kind <laughs> right. of thing. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that takes know. over. That's the thing that kind of takes over is like like the hours just sort of that's what i was saying is i don't remember any of this like two weeks well you have you don't to, yeah. you, you kind of you kind of black out when you're that 
Well, I, in I that, definitely like, on my on my you third, start out such a high on my you're third like, Irish I'm gonna cream. Read, I'm gonna read five books. On my gonna, third, oh yeah, and you somehow <laughs> spend an entire skills. week doing nothing. Exactly. Actually. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> I was like, man, I'll do really cool stuff, and then I just went to Dutch Bros so many times. <laughs> so I was like. I'm like an invalid. I'm like, a, I'm yeah. like a guy. Yeah. I'm on like I'm putting myself on bed rest. This yeah. is crazy. Says something about all of us. Yeah. Something we I shut down. We be able I mean, to say. watching it watching just takes like, a lot of effort. Like, yeah, whatever. Uh, watching watching the league. It. Watching the doing something like watching the league. That's like perfect for house sitting. You know my first a show that you actually hate. Yeah, you actually hate it. Yeah, but it's your only option. It's worse than hating it though, because it just it's your was, only it's not your only option is no, a thing. But it, beco- it becomes but it becomes the only your option. only option because you've like sold yourself on the idea that well, that's the only thing in the world. It's the only TV show that exists in the world, and I'm I have to watch it. Or like, well, I'll finish it. <laughs> or it's just simply I'll waste time it's to simply do it. I can press next. You know my first show. I can press OK to next episode. My you first can't full lay on the cable show, like, like that is she might uh, be waiting it down, kind of preventing helping. noise. Is weeds? Weeds was a show Fuck. like that. For yeah, me. that is a show. That is the kind of Perfect show. Perfect show. Yeah, dude. That's the kind of show that because it's watch. like semi good first season, then just becomes dog shit, and you're like, oh, I'll just watch the all of it. I wish I could remember. There was something that I had on DVD. There was no internet at this house. I forgot Lie to, to me. That. Lie to there me. There was no is internet, no shows. cellular service, and I had no car. I could go on. There was something I had on DVD. Billions. I wish I could. I wish I could remember. It was something so that? bad. It was something so bad that I don't even remember. But it was a. It was a torture show. You know. You gotta remember. What's the deal with how Billions is supposed to be good and it sucks? What's the deal with that, huh? It looks like shit. I mean, every <laughs> time I've like seen a little bit of it, I'm well, like, Jack was. This is nowhere Jack was near. He's like, oh, everyone says Billions is good. We finished yeah. Mad Men. He's like, everyone says Billions is good. We watched like the first episode. I'm like. This has all the trappings of a piece of shit TV show, but I, I mean, guess it's everyone. Good. The issue is that everyone is like people who are just they'll watch anything essentially now because they need more shows. Yeah, but people were, people need more shows. I think that's kind of the issue. Billions is just like a very normal like procedural vibe television. Like it reminds me, it reminded me of like SVU or something. Someone with Paul Giamatti or he's a sex thing. Right? <laughs> yeah, we watched like two on. episodes. I forget what it's even <sighs> about. You gotta see. I mean, I mean, Step the way, you just heels. Oh, you just saying that you saying Paul Giamatti with the sex thing that makes it sound like a really good show. What I've seen is like ah, I couldn't watch this. For well, definitely the minutes. only good part was Paul Giamatti just being like big and just wearing suspenders and what just the fuck and getting CBT. I'm trying to I'm trying he's to help CBT. Out, he's getting to help the little guy. He's getting CBT by some heels. If I don't get my cock and ball for sure. getting cognitive behavioral <laughs> therapy. <laughs> no, the other CBT. The other CBT. Cock and ball He's torture. getting CBT'd by some stilettos. Whoa, Paul. <laughs> Whoa, Paul. Settle down. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> chips That's and, weird how actors have butter? to be into the thing that they, they're portraying on a show. It's weird how actors yeah. can have to be they in- have to interested be into that. in that. Yeah, to get the role, probably. What if th- this is kind of good he though? What if Paul that. Giamatti was on Billions? Yeah, and then like he reads the part, and he's like good friends with the writer. And he, he's flipping through the pages. He's like, okay, I'm the DA. I'm actually an honest guy. You know, I actually am trying to prosecute these uh, billionaires uh, and stuff. Uh, Wait, uh, hey, I'm. Uh, you didn't put any of our uh, personal conversations in this, did you? <laughs> Paul Giamatti's like, you didn't, um, uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like this is, that was uh, in conscience uh, that I told you. This is cutting a little close, isn't it? <laughs> um, David, um, this is cutting a little close to the truth, don't you think? It's Giamatti, David, dude. Is it a... Mati. I don't care. Who's the... Who's the uh, Who's the creator? Bite me, dude. <laughs> Bite me. Oh, I said Paul Giamani's. Fuck him. I mean, he's he's fucked. He's a know? pervert. He's a fucking pervert. You love CBT, dude. Fuck him. Have you seen him play Scrooge in the new Verizon commercials? I think that's one of his best James roles. Yeah. King King James. Yo, King shame. <laughs> Paul Giamatti just got kink shame. Swag. We have, a, we have a drop for that, though. I like the idea that we have the kink shame. We have like sound effects, but then we also have Paul Giamatti just got kink shame. <laughs> yeah. That's a pre-made drop. Yeah. It comes up Damn, once an episode. Son. Race car Damn, son. By. You just shamed Paul Giamatti. <laughs> Damn, son. Where'd you find the dossier on Paul Giamatti? 
Ah, I live in a house made of cards. (laughs) 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 Ah, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Balls to dust. (laughs) Balls and dust. Ashes to ashes, my balls into dust (laughs) at the behest of a stiletto. Wait, put a cigarette it, out on me. Who's the Hello. creator of Billions? Is it ah, is it Mad Men? Ah, is it Mad Men? Ah, put that cigarette adjacent? out right on me, baby. God, that's <laughs> what is that? A camel wine? <laughs> oh, that's burning went a long all the time. way through my penis. <laughs> that's right. That's that's right. That cigarette went into that's my abdomen. Right. <laughs> You've t-boned my penis with a cigarette. That's, oh, what, that's what I like. That's what I like, and I want it in the script. <laughs> he actually won. <laughs> this is the reverse. He's, wait, I he's at the table read. He's at the table read. All right, that's great stuff. That's great stuff. Now, what if at this point he walked on down to the dominatrix store and he ordered a hot piping cigarette into his <laughs> testicles? Wouldn't so that went, be funny? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he said, I'm Paul Giamatti and I well, love Paul, this. Paul, I mean, Paul, there's, we're already we're coming off a scene where you just got... And what if I got, played myself, too? <laughs> I've got a new Prince Albert I want to show everybody in real Paul, life. Some of the show, Paul, some of the show has to be... <laughs> and then, what about this? What whoa, about wait, whoa, halfway, hey. he's in the room. With, <laughs> he's he's in the picking up room. his wife from work. And he's at the office building and the guy he knows is crooked. And he says, why don't you get a load of this? <laughs> And he shows off his Prince Albert. I'll get it. I'll get it for the show. <laughs> He's trying to write off getting a Prince Albert for work. And what if he had to have a Prince Albert? And I'll get one in real life. I don't even care. And one we of those glass the, windows on his scrotum like that, that cow in Oregon. He has glass windows on his scrotum. <laughs> this is great. This is great stuff. Okay, he finally gets some dirt on the guy. And then what if he has a windfall? Maybe he finds some money in a briefcase and he says... I've always wanted glass windows on my scrotum (laughs) so you could see the brains inside. I've always thought that'd be cool. Sorry, I mean, he says, I always thought that'd be cool. Ah. Ah. (laughs) (laughs) What if it was a different type of ball? (laughs) What if it was the same but a little different? Um... So, Paul Giamatti. <laughs> this is good stuff. Season finale. <coughs> oh, here's my Tech Nine. Check this out. <laughs> what if he buys a Tech Nine and he has it on display? And he says, a piece like this you could only get if you're a famous actor or the DA, which I am. <laughs> Well, there's got to be. Is this a- is great. Now, at this point, he's had the balls, the ball, the scrotum window for two seasons. What if he has a second windfall? He's walking through the woods. He's taking a shortcut. He finds his duffel bag full of cash, and he says, Another? "And he says, I want a porthole in my scrotum, like that cow that you see, Davis, and you can reach in and touch its organs, except you can pull his balls out through the porthole." <laughs> You guys know about that pull cow? Pull the strings, pull the strings. That's what I was talking about. Yeah, it's yeah. not even a window. It's like you open it and you can reach in the what cow. What did you say? UC Davis? Davis? I think it's Davis. That sounds Oregon. like Davis. That like sounds like a Davis thing. What? Up in Oregon. It's not in Davis. I thought it was at UC Davis for some reason. Oh. In that Oregon? girl that, was, that came on the show that one time and just sh- shit the bed and told me about it up in Oregon. That's where she's from. What are you saying right now? Oh, I forget her. How long did the cow live? Just, just kept alive? Well, was, yeah, the whole thing was that it was living and it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. It was like you could reach you in could, and like touch its organs this or might grab be a different thing, beef out of it or something. Or this beef. one, there was like a circular like submarine window in the side of it. Yeah, that's what a yes, yeah, porthole. Yeah, but you could open it. I didn't know you could open the open it. I thought it was just like fastened to the side, sealed off with cock. It was cocked off. It's going to be funny when it's nothing like either of us think it is. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Can you go can you do cow with cow with window? <laughs> you can dumb down the search, dude. Oh, can you lay the cow? cow with the window. Okay, okay. Multiple of them. Yeah. I guess you can do that. So it shouldn't be too hard. They I guess make you a really can sm- fucking do that with a cow. <laughs> They'd have to make a really small one for Paul Giamatti's testicles. Nice. Egg Week TV, sponsored by Peterson Farm now, Seed. Well, Egg I understand Week you guys TV. Have, 
I this understand you guys awesome. have been in fabrication for years. Paul, do you want to give a... How uh, small of a porthole do you think you could make? Paul, do you want to give a uh, warning on this one? What's well, the circumference on the porthole? Do you want to give a trigger warning yeah, on this Yeah, for video? sure, for sure. Welcome to Billions. <laughs> I'm Paul Giamatti. This episode may include a scrotum porthole. All right, have fun. <laughs> Welcome to Ag Week TV. It's me, Paul Giamaggi. It's so casual. Like, Welcome to Ag Week TV. Welcome to Ag it's Week me, TV. Paul Giamaggi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here sipping We made a fucking on hole my... in a cow. <laughs> we going... made a hole in a fucking cow. I'm going dripper's wagyu on this. <laughs> they told us we couldn't do it. When he gets mad at his wife, <laughs> oh, I'm working too hard. Maybe I'm not working hard enough because I've never put a hole in a cow. <laughs> oh my God. I just, I just remembered the, a crazy story my friend told me one time. We are here at NDSU. Wow, shit. Wait, they, wait. wait, they can reach in the cow. Wait, they can reach in the cow, Sam. Look at this guy. He's, he's, he's kind of scruffing the cow. By the way, and we're here with mm. this is Hiccup. Yes. And can you pause it for a sec? No, no, we got to see. This guy's name is Hiccup. Guys. Yes. He is a cannulated series. You guys. Wait, pause it for what? He's cannulated. I just had a story about the cow. Research animals that I'll we tell use after this. Um, and very beneficial. And You're upset for real. No, no. I it just, was a bit I was doing. Oh, I mean. Holy e cow. <laughs> well, no, tell your story. We'll, we'll be totally as interested tell in me a fistulated if... cow later. I was, I was thinking, it's well, what's good, cow. what's good it's about, about a the, hole in the cow? What's it good about the hole in uh, Giamatti's balls to <laughs> cow hole pipeline is that it stays relevant throughout the whole show. We could pick this up any time. <laughs> You know, it's a dynamic thing. Here's the thing. It's about a hole in the cow. So okay, okay. we'll be in the same territory, treading the same water, as they say uh, in the... Careful. Please don't stop. The in the Navy cat. SEALs, is what they say. So what was your story? My friend <laughs> What's your said, fucking story? <laughs> my friend said that he stayed at some point in his life out on this ranch. His dad's crazy. And his dad had like a AR-15. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> Dude, said, stop that guy. <laughs> he said, hey, son, you want to see this cow, this cow disappear? This isn't real. <laughs> Please say this is not real. <laughs> he, just, he just fucking liberated a cow's inside. He said he just made a cow disappear with an AR-15. Like, he just shot at it That's so many true. times that it exploded, like... That's like the scariest shit I've ever Isn't that heard. Fucking insane. That's, I want to tell you this. That's deeply, deeply scary yeah, to me. Dude. <laughs> he was just because that means for a lot of the time he was just shooting a dead cow carcass with a gun, and yeah. he probably had to reload. Right. Right. How many clips did he empty into the cow? I don't know. I think ew, it was dude, like ew. That's so scary to me. Yeah. And I, I also maybe, don't even get this. Was it his cow? No, I think he was staying on like a ranch. But like. You can't just kill somebody. Have we talked cow. about this on the podcast? Before? I don't think so. No, you can't just. You know who's dad I'm talking about? Yeah, you can't just kill somebody's we, cow. But we've talked about the the guy I used to work with. What he did to a cow, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have on I the think podcast. Maybe. Uh, well, you got to say it now. Well, he just he he was at the time Intimate. consuming. He took like a Bible like of acid. Or something. He, he just would eat sheets of acid every day, and one day he just. He was heartbroken about this, so I truly believe this story. He told me that he just, with his bare hands, he found, there's this old cow. He was just, you know, he was on a sheet of acid or two or whatever. This old cow, and he was just, he he said that he just, he disassembled this cow with his hands. Dude, what, what are you telling me right now, dude? This is, I'm like freaked out, dude. <laughs> This is it's freaking like me just, out. This, I guess it's just like stories oh. from the country. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> just what the like, fuck? People just what people just fuck? people just let their anger out on cows. And just, when you're when you're talking to your son, cows. when you when you say son, do you want to see this cow disappear? And then you start unloading well, that, lead into yeah, it. You're showing you even, a child. I mean, do you say another word, or is it just like silence <laughs> and gunshots? That's like yeah. I'll tell you what's actually freaking me out. Here's what I'm picturing. I'm picturing cricket noises. Yeah, and then a guy standing next to his son, and them not exchanging a word, and just going like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
Kids yeah, like eight. 30 it's minutes. Kids like seven 30 or eight. Minutes, 30 minutes. Just so of, much time. It, of, it of him shooting so a cow. long. Yeah. And then... And then the hand, then the doing hand, it by hand. What does he mean? He's like, he ripped its trachea out? Or I mean, what the fuck is he, he mean? He said he wouldn't give me a lot of detail, but he's just like, I just I just killed a cow. I just killed it with my bare hands. I just You said disassembled. Tore, he tore really, it apart. No, I mean... Ah, he t- dude, what the fuck? <laughs> the, he told me like it was a shameful... At least shameful he told act. me that as it was a shameful moment in his life. I, I'll tell you this. Because he came to later and realized... I really oh, wish when he just I was, had sex with it. When I, I had that was the story because I thought that's where it was going. When I had no, I thought that really was a funny bad. story. He had eaten two sheets of acid and then he disassembled the cow. Wait, what's funny hands. is when you started that's, this story, I was like, ah, oh, he fucked this cow, and now and I was like, ah, oh, geez. And now I'm like, God, I wish he just had <laughs> fucked that cow. I wish he had just fucked that cow I mean, and let it be. Yeah. Uh, there was a guy Bob at the skate park, and he was a uh, <laughs> some more cow stories he, from the cow. He like, said that he um, he was like 90. he actually dropped a incendiary. <laughs> No, dude. He said that he was no. flying a, a, a red bear, a, re- no, a remake the, of a welcome, red baron plane. Welcome, welcome to Ag Week After Hours. He dropped a gallon bomb. He said bomb that on. he was flying his replica World War One biplane, and he actually dropped a grenade <laughs> onto a cow's body. No, 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 seriously though, this guy. He said that he was testing out his plastic C four, and he like. He, what do you what <laughs> he made a cow <laughs> swallow plastic c4 oh, and then he fuck. detonated it what are you what oh and it, like, what are you saying to it, me right it, now no That's, i'm kidding oh, okay I'm kidding. i was gonna say yeah, there's this old guy at the skate park his name was bob he's a skate monitor and he never he didn't monitor shit he just sat there well we all didn't wear yeah, our that's a guy pads. who i'd want to investigate a guy who volunteers to be the skate monitor but he's like 90 i don't know what he, he's just doing yeah, it to get oh, out of okay. his house and so he would tell these tell us stories kids. and stuff Continue. and fuck kids or whatever. But he was saying that he would say this thing. He was from Templeton, so he was like old school. And he was like, "Yeah, he's a good old boy." I'm right. part of the old school. <laughs> Disassembled a cow with my bare hands. I did three sheets of acid back in the day. That was that was way how you turned into a man. Man's rights um, trial, changing of the guard. Well, you know what I'm thinking of. What did, a man. what did Bob? What did Bob the skate monitor? He said, um, "When he's like, when the girls would go out of town, oh boy, <laughs> we'd fuck fresh cow patties, stick her penis oh, in them." You told me like, about this. What? You told me about this. <laughs> I was like, "What? You're fresh?" <laughs> he's like, <laughs> "What? Fresh? What?" <laughs> that's just old. Just that's so just many questions. <laughs> that's just old school cool. <laughs> Well, you know what's true just is that your penis and like that's just old school, man. This is a thing cool we have shit, to remind you know? ourselves of: is that like, and he's like, it's warm, like the, like a girl's pussy. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Sure, it is, Bob. <laughs> Bob's never fucked. Feels just like it. I'm sure. Bob's, Bob's a 90 year old. Just incel. a wet, <laughs> just a you, wet cow patty. That's yeah. why you want to stick your dick. I don't know, Bob. Shit. Bob, it sounds like it's crap, though. It sounds like it's <laughs> crap out of an animal, though. I'm we, just I'm having we? a mental how many, block. How many boys do you think are out there? <laughs> like 50. Going wild. <laughs> like, like a oh, flock. Me and, me like and 50, 14 year friends. <laughs> like a boy scout troop. <laughs> I just like the mental image of like a bunch of guys yeah. doing it. They're like all together. Oh, you, shit. You like There's that a whole mental fresh image? Down. There's a fresh batch out. Oh, everyone... Re- there's a fresh uh, batch out, uh, guys. They're running. Their little scarves are kind of blowing. In the- oh, there they are. Yeah. Their nighties or their nightcaps or yeah, yeah, they're all in. Uh, they have candle lit. They're all in candle lit, and they have Scrooge <laughs> costumes on. <They're> all- <laughs> boys, this is gonna be just boys. Boys, wake the bunk. It's gonna be a bonanza out there. Ooh, it stinks. Ooh-wee. Let's get to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh wee! The field is stinking. <laughs> They're holding little candles. Bags. They're holding the little candles on the holders. Each yeah, other. yeah, yeah. You said that. Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I was just yeah. so taken with the image. Yeah. No, it's perfect. That what is how everyone in Templeton, now? old what school, you know, now? good old boys. That's how they all dress. What do they do? They go on X and X X trucker, trucker hats, shit like that. They were wearing full Scrooges in their, you know, Dodge. People are wearing fucking Carhartt. They're coming. They're wearing fake Carhartt. Yeah. People, are working, People wearing... were fucking cow patties in full suits and knights armor. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just 400 pounds. 
Just saw 100 pounds of full metal plate armor and people were fucking cow patties back in the day. Yeah. Oh, they were for sure doing that in the medievals. Well, I think actually they were doing actually, something called <laughs> rape. <Yeah. laughs> I think that it was actually more grim. Well, and you know what? Yeah. If fucking a cow patty keeps you from doing that. Right. Then do you, you think know, that you there's should any go tell kids about it at the skate park? Do you think that there's any possibility that was the P- that was this is crazy to say, but that was the PG version of the story? Like this is for the the child. Yeah. Like what do you the, think? The what story do you think he, he was tell? actually doing? Fucking his friends. Fucking the cow. And and fucking his friends. friends fucking and cows. cows and <laughs> well, this is what I wanted oh, to girls say. Used to leave town. Going- <laughs> we'd all just fuck each other. I was, and then we'd fuck cows. We'd, we'd all, all real fuck, wild. We'd all fuck each other and cry about it. <laughs> well, Brendan and I watched <laughs> that show. When all my friends about, left, I'd fuck cows. That Schleswig show. Or, yeah, we watched this show that like. Only we would watch. <laughs> <laughs> Just like any friend or housemate that saw was like, yeah, have fun, I guess. <laughs> it's a, called 1841, right? Is that, I don't know. Is Something? that the year? I thought it was 1865. Well, no, that's the Civil War. I don't think I it was know, the but same it was, time. I'm I pretty sure it was, was 1841. Right? The Civil War soldiers? No, it's... It's this war that happened in Denmark where they fought over some shit no one cares about. <laughs> Denmark like wanted a piece of land that was right. German. But, and it's just and yeah, it's a that period piece. Right. And it's period piece and they're all speaking Dutch and Jack and I were like, oh, golly gee, that looks like a, a rocking good time to watch. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> and, and it was. <laughs> and it, it was, was awesome. so good. And um, What do they get up to? Well, there's this one part. It follows these couple people when they're like, Young Kids, yeah. before the war, in Denmark. and they're just these little peasant children, nothing to do, nothing to do, and like bored is all one and fucking one get boy out. is like you will come. They're playing in the barn. He's like, look at this, and he <laughs> goes and fetches from the barn. This was now. This is really crazy because you're like, wow, we started it because of a clip of a war scene we saw. Yeah. We're like, cool show. It's got like... And then the whole many first episodes were just like, <laughs> this just pastoral <laughs> Dutch boy life. We're like, well, this is a little Danish. odd. <laughs> Danish. <coughs> I'm going to get that wrong a bunch of times while we talk about it. So everyone just be comfortable with that. I know it's wrong. I'm going to say Dutch. I'm going to say Danish. I'm going to get it all wrong. Anyway, these little fucking Germanic children <laughs> are having this pest. And Jack and I, we're still invested, but we are like... What is this show about? Because <laughs> we thought it was like a cool, it's like a magic 1800s. element. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was several Wait, things what? happened during this show that were because I just think it's funny that we did end up liking Johan, it anyway, but we Johan started it because we're like, man. oh, a cool war, gritty period piece thing. Then like the first is yeah, just like this how it's whole thing it. about these two boys and this girl, and they're like both in love with her, and they're like, it's like we're like, what is this show about? It's just crazy. Um, but anyway, so there's these three little boys. Nothing to do. These little peasant children. And one's like, you will come to the barn with me? And then he's like, hold on. And he goes, and we're watching this for the first time, and he just comes out with a jar of gum. <laughs> <laughs> and we're and we are just like, that's not what's happening. <laughs> that's not what's happening in this show right now. And he's like, isn't this crazy? <laughs> He's like, he's like, it is a jar of cum. It's, it's, it's not <laughs> just a jar of like a cum shot. No, it's, it's like, a bunch. He's collected it. <laughs> yeah, he's collected and I, like, he, does he touch it? Yes, he he like goes and fingers the cum in the glass because mm-hmm. he's like, check this out, and he he brings it up with his fingers. <laughs> and then, but he and then like a thing that happened strudel. later in the show, and then we're like, huh? And then we're strudel watching sauce. it. We're watching it, and then like, then it gets to the you know they're older, and now they're in the war with Prussia, and we're like. Okay. All right. We right. know what this show's about. And then there's this old Danish soldier, and he's like he's like named Johan or something, and they're talking Johan. about how he was in the first because there was a first Schleswig war, and he was in and stuff. And then suddenly, really late in the show, it's been just a period piece up until this point, he just does magic. <laughs> so up until this point, it's just been a period piece. Th- seemingly with realism you guys as put it's it down after that you guys were like that's no. too much no we no because we were honestly like at this point the show had had so many twists and turns we were like of course <laughs> fuck yes dude he Yo puts, his, he puts his hands just does into oh, yeah. this guy's chest and, and he just he... resurrects didn't he resurrect him yeah like a guy's dead and johan is like <laughs> and like just makes him alive well you forgot about the one the tie-in is that 
uh, sort of before they go to the war or as they're like training and then coming back, sowing wild oats. It just kind of like there's a party scene and like things are happening. They're kind of like getting ready (laughs) to maybe go off to die. And then it cuts to just it cuts to uh, just the barn. And they're like, this guy's they're all gathered around. And this guy's just fucking a cow. And they're all going, yes, or like a sheep or something. And they're like, very cool. (laughs) (laughs) It's just a a here's a real point. This is a real point from that Uh for me, which is that. People get this thing in their head because of the media where they're like, oh, everything's all degenerate now and everyone's doing gross stuff and weird stuff. But back in the old days, it was all nice and good. Right. But they only think that because that's what was like allowed in popular media. But really... anything that was written down. But really, when you think you're totally unobserved and you also know nothing... If you're like a kid growing up in any rural town in like the 30s, you probably got up to some weird shit. Yeah. Like maybe only a couple times. <laughs> like blowjobs from cats just and stuff. Just weird shit because there's no like... Well, I'm huh. just saying that I think that there's... And I'm not saying everyone <laughs> did it. I'm not... That <laughs> disturbed Sam. <laughs> I'm not saying Wait, that I just... <laughs> Was that in the show, or that's just no, something? No, that was just job? the first crazy the thing you could think of. <laughs> yeah. I'm no, saying, I like, guess, yeah. I guess I just think that the rate of, like, a seemingly guess, normal person yeah. doing a crazy thing, like, I could see there being more people back in the 30s who just, like, killed somebody Or, like, time. two cats, yeah. you think, maybe? Like, I think so. Two cats. Or, like, had a menage a trois with cats. <laughs> <laughs> and you Those just, cats are crazy. And you just never talk about it. And that's all it takes slinking for it to around. never be known about. <laughs> they're always slinking around trying to get into a menage a trois. <laughs> they're always, they're always going, going the into hell? alleyways and going. What the hell's wrong with those guys? Yeah, crapping in sand. Kitty, kitty. Did they have sandboxes like frigid bitch in like fourteen hundred? You're right, though. I mean, literally everyone. It's just you know that was coming of age. Is like you make cum jars you fuck cow patties but that's what i'm saying you, like that was realistic they don't write to me it down. i mean of course like, because yeah, you i bet you a cum jar is rock. less likely to make now yeah. because you would make the huh. cum jar mostly because you like just don't know <laughs> at, you're, you just do weird crap because you're left to your own devices yeah and i guess you know kids <laughs> still do weird kids still do weird do weird and stuff and do, maybe some of us among us i don't know some specific <laughs> things that pop into his brain or something yeah i mean oh, i mean Maybe some memories were made. Kiss a sound. Torture an ocelot and make it. <laughs> fucking find one of those ass. rare, find one of those rare sand cats that's like four inches long and put it up your ass. <laughs> find that smallest cat in the world and get a Remy from an ocelot. <laughs> get a fucking torture an ocelot until it trombones you. <laughs> <laughs> have a dare, have a, dare have double a dog dare an awesome <laughs> <laughs> double dog dare a civet to make a trombone out of your body. <laughs> oh man, Jack did that shit, man. That's what's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the, yeah. the thing about. <laughs> The internet. Anyway, this cow's got a hole in it. <laughs> Did right. you believe that? Check that out. It's fistulated. They're all excited about it, and they see nothing wrong with it. I'll this. tell you who else is fistulated. My uncle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that joke really what? works for me if, unless I know something else. What do you mean? Do you have a fistulated uncle? Yeah. <laughs> Where, where's his fistula? Well, like fistulated. It was a joke about like getting fisted up your ass. Oh, <laughs> like an uncle would have happened to him. <laughs> <laughs> like all it's our like uncles, uncle. of course. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, between this and the cats thing, Jack just like thinks that the way jokes were is just some hyper specific yeah. memory he has only. No, I mean everyone has that. It. You and know then, when you're at the cookout. You got that one fistulated uncle. <laughs> you got that one uncle who's just won't well, shut up about his fistula. <laughs> He's like shoving, he's shoving dogs down there. <laughs> shoving dogs? Oh, like you're saying dogs. he's got he's not got gerbils, dogs. hot dogs. Oh, <laughs> not got, gerbils. We're all at the we're all at the cookout watching that one uncle shove beef franks in his, <laughs> his fistula. <laughs> Our uncle shoving Hebrew nationals in his fistula receptacle. <laughs> are, you, are you just saying that your uncle has a what is it? Gay sex with fists up his ass. 
That's okay. all I was saying. I don't even have a gay uncle. Well, you it's said hot like, dogs, and you're throwing hot dogs just towards the stomach. <laughs> like, uh, what is it when people get the hole for the... Oh, well, that's a colostomy thing. Yeah. Well, I thought you were waste. trying to say that your that's uncle waste. had... Here's what I'll yeah, say. But if a hole. Sam and I are having this much trouble, it's definitely not our fault, you know? <laughs> no, it's 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 poor. It's poor. Just it's just like low. <laughs> it's poor. No, low now effort, he's God damn it. Material. Now he's going to Huh? I was just trying my best. Yeah, I was just trying to do the best I could <laughs> yeah, on the podcast. Tired. I actually want to quit now. Fucking working man over here. I actually just shot an acorn out of my belly button. I think I'm the giver. Something. Just do it again. <laughs> just go through the whole cycle we just went through where Sam and I are like, what do you mean by that? And by the end, you're like, yeah, I just, just something I said. I don't know, man. Why don't you say something? <laughs> Seriously, you copping on my shit. Yeah. Trick. Trick. Yeah. Trick. your <laughs> Trick. your Trick bottom. Shirty. <laughs> Trick. Shirty. Bottom. Carter. It's Helen mm. Bottom. Carter. <laughs> 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 trick sh- trick shirty carter bottom carter oh trick, trick shirty bottom carter. <laughs> he's fistulated i read trick shirty bottom carter shirty it's I, cool that he i read he had one of the first ipods <laughs> when was he banging <laughs> when was he banging like 2003 <laughs> Yeah, the iPod with the click wheel, dude. <laughs> Man, I was <laughs> reading Shorty Burnham Carter. <laughs> I was reading the um, novelization of a PBS biopic about Trick Shorty Bonham Carter, and he actually had the first click wheel iPod. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, he had like, um, God, what do you have? POD on there? It was we really are, cool are. because in we the are, documentary they say. You now we're going to list I'm... all the music that was on his iPod. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of detail you he gets. museum he's getting in the trillion dollar bill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, next, to the, next to the other new museum, he's getting a tiny little stall. That's <coughs> the history. <laughs> Trick shirty. Bonham Carter. Redux. <laughs> Trick shirty. Bonham Carter. Base hunter. Base Hunters coming back. <laughs> Dota 2. Just stuff we've mentioned in the past four hours. That's good. Getting closer to closer to brain maxing. In terms of and studying so got a how hole in they utilize cow. forage, what they're consuming Matt when Cruz. they're out on the range. And this is pretty amazing. Yeah, I don't trust that I've guy as far as I can throw him, frankly. He's wearing like true religions. <laughs> they don't really believe He's, that. Ew, it's all wet. Of, of course we it is. We just expose the... The room in I love his pants, and man. We place the cannula in, Sam, and check his pants out. Right around the cannula. So there's, Big ass on that fella. In my trues, what I do in my trues, I fistulate yes. cows. Yeah, I basically so reach in the, the cow out. wearing my yeah. trues. Yeah. <laughs> They're totally ruined <laughs> every day. <laughs> oh, the plug. The plug comes out. I noticed he didn't move at all. Yeah, no. Oh, it's a hole into their stomach, and just completely kind of exposes his rumen and all the forage that he's been eating. So you can see in there, he's on. I don't like this guy. How much do you think they have left to learn about <coughs> the forage? This is a, like a oh, at this point oh, in time. It's fucking oh, it's leaking. About 48 hours and the what if he's going like, oh, a little bit of the juice on my tree? It, like. it looks like the precursor to shit. Particles so that they looks like what poo's made out of. Track. He's really full. I've seen this before. And it do you think if you fucked that, it'd be too early to be good? Even then, if you want to. You think it's got to be a pie? That's like fucking wet alfalfa, dude. She, yeah, seems, like, she seems like she's having trouble holding it We together. tried she's having like, sex with a fistulated really cool. cow once. We thought it'd be better, out. but... No. And the acid in the stomach wow. burnt my piss. And grass and fluid versus what's Head. on the top, too. That's amazing. Nice. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll try it. Jeez. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, she's yep. in there. Oh, okay, Jesus, lady. Cool, cool it. Can I go farther? Mm-hmm. You can read oh, the God. all the way to your shoulder. Why does she want to go? You can go all the way to your shoulder if you arm good. Tell us what we're looking at here. You know what? Well, You're kind what of we're weird. At, we took some of the rumen fluid that we got out of hiccup and um, we put it under a microscope. He's got to be getting cow pie juice on his true process. religion. Why is he wearing such clean, nice new jeans for rumen. this job? Okay. That seems and then bad. we have, you know, back here you can see little cellular microbes. And they all have different functions towards the same goal of digesting the forage and um, providing utilizable end products that the steer then utilizes. Yeah, he looks for super his own happy. Energy and his own gain. 
game. Matt he doesn't Kelsey, feel it at all, he says they mentioned. Uh, thanks for joining us He's just and chained to the feeding thanks trough. thanks to you and for <laughs> being a really good boy today. Uh, he doesn't feel it at all. Oh, okay, and when you were putting it in, and it was it just never felt anything regarding this hole in his, that World goes to his stomach. Oreo! <laughs> that was the, the, thumb, the Mr. Beast thumbnail that we missed. God, I want to play this video game. Wow, this looks sick. <laughs> Sort of like a just kind of quiet. I will say this: if we guy. look back at the footage, what happened was we were talking, and I was like, "Ah, fucking stupid ad." And then I kind of caught some more gameplay, and I was like, "Maybe I do want to play Valorant." I just got fully sucked in. This is an Oreo that's a hundred times bigger than normal. Dick. And this <laughs> is a He's a self-parody. This guy. This is What can you this say Oreo, about him? This Oreo is one hundred times bigger than normal. <laughs> wow, that's really big. <laughs> This Oreo is on almost Navi, 10 times bigger than the regular Oreo. <laughs> on the Navi planet, Cameron has created an Oreo that is 100 times bigger than a normal Oreo. It's good to just have a bit from the last. I mean, I, I don't, yeah. What do you should think, listen to it. Do you think Werner, it's awesome. What do you think Werner would have to say about the world's biggest Oreo? It was so striking. <laughs> the it feeling. was. It filled me with a dread so powerful. <laughs> I couldn't imagine living another day. <laughs> I needed to be sedated and belted to a bed in a hospital <laughs> he say to when he, stop from killing myself. Oh, we interesting. Did you get along with Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast. <laughs> what a beautiful man. <laughs> Mr. Beast is the most frightening man I have ever met. He has seen as generous, but his eyes are like a shark's. <laughs> It's like a chicken. <laughs> there is nothing. <laughs> there is such a deep evil in, in Mr. Beast's eyes. An evil that can only come from deep chaos and unthinking. <laughs> and while he's saying that, it's the footage from that, that movie he made that's just like the gas explosions in slow motion. <laughs> oh, is that like... Uh, the spoils of war, or something like that. It's like in the Middle Wait, East, and it's just like videos. What's like after like Desert Storm, right? Flame when they shoot, burned yes, all the, yes, yeah. And it's over that, and he's going like, "Well, let me just." <laughs> <laughs> you seen that thing that he said about the chicken, right, Sam? No. Let me tell it to Warner you. Let me tell you about it, Sam. He said this thing about a chicken that he like looked when you look in the eyes of a chicken. It's wait, like wait, wait, wait. Let me just most evil. Look into the eyes of Mr. Beast and you will see real stupidity. It is a kind of bottomless stupidity, a fiendish stupidity. <laughs> they are the most horrifying, cannibalistic, and nightmarish creatures in the world. Herzog responded. <laughs> <laughs> Herzog responded to his own reproduced quote. <laughs> Two figures are approaching an oil well. Oh, shit. One of them holds a his life with a... <laughs> one of them holds again. <laughs> the other they one... Are, they the are other one, good buddies. <laughs> <laughs> the other they one just ate just a Wonder Bread PB&J. Yeah. <laughs> the other one holds a wheelbarrow me. of cash. <laughs> it's Mr. Beast. <laughs> He's come to the Middle East <laughs> to settle us, settle a bet. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! Mr. Beast is so scary. <laughs> Mr. Beast has teamed up with Fred <laughs> to conquer the Middle East. When I met Mr. Beast, he was only a boy, but somehow I knew I would see him again. Wait, no, yeah, this works too. <laughs> this is perfect. <laughs> Some Fitzcarraldo quote. This was footage. about the time that I met Mr. Beast. It was Mr. Beast who convinced me that the boat should be made for real, and all those people must die. It must go over the river. <laughs> That oh, that <laughs> the only thing that would make up for a thousand laborers' deaths would be a totally epic film like nothing anybody had ever seen. It is only now, in hindsight, that I view Mr. Beast 
as a trickster spirit, <laughs> tricking me into doing great acts of evil. <laughs> <laughs> Lucifer operated through that boy. <laughs> What's up? Hey, Warner. What's up? You want a fucking million dollars? What? <laughs> all you gotta do, all you gotta do, is make a boat and put it up over the river in the Amazon. Okay, sounds sick, little boy. You're gonna kill a bunch of people. <laughs> oh no! But it's gonna be so sick. How sick will it be? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be one of the best movies of all time. Oh, will everyone see it? Klaus Kinski's gonna be in it. He's gonna go. Oh, I love him. <laughs> He's going to be all like, ah, I'm crazy. Yeah, that's what Klaus Kinski sounds like. Oh, Wona, great to meet you. <laughs> he, he is fucking unhinged in that movie. Yeah, I think that they're, like, I think they're like childhood friends. Really? Right? Is that how they so. know each other? Yeah. But they have the, obviously God, they have like he, a tumultuous relationship. He's a freaky but, guy. Yeah. Yeah, like, because I haven't seen Fitzgerald, but I've seen Aguirre Wrath of God, which I like. And it's, yeah, he's. Yeah. I mean, it's good casting. I guess his face is like on sight. Like, he's so snarled up and he. He dark like that. And he's like, <laughs> oh, I do hate this guy <laughs> really deeply. There's something. Isn't there something about Werner Herzog? Like, he, uh. He Alec Baldwin, you know. They, he he put a, a loaded gun Kinsky in a situation. or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Boris Alec Kinsky. Baldwin... Alec Baldwin-ing. He's trying to Alec Baldwin He's trying to Alec Baldwin Is yeah. Alec Baldwin-ing when you shoot somebody on accident? Or when there's what a is, live gun. So really, Alec, Alec baldwin, baldwin is, should be called whatever the name of that lady was. Alec baldwin yeah, is... Yeah, but who, who knows what her name but is? I like the I parallel know world. Saying, here's the thing. The saying, parallel world where thing. Alec Baldwin the put the gun in. He Alec Baldwin the also Look, placed the loaded he gun. He produced that movie. He made that whole thing so he could murder that fucking cinematographer. Fucking who knows? You think we it don't was know like a everything full about plan. it. It's gay, still yet gay, to be... Gay to pay gay sex <laughs> Alec Baldwin <laughs> shot her. <laughs> gay to pay gay sex. <laughs> folks. <laughs> folks. Alec Baldwin shot her gay to pay. Folks. Sex Nancy uh, Pelosi folks. came in through that LGBT museum. <laughs> Folks, gay to pay convinced Alec Baldwin thing. to kill that lady to get that GLBT museum in the Washington <laughs> Monument. Gets in the spending bill. You know what's in the spending bill. It's the papes in the spending bill. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> Herzog and Pape yeah, Alex Jones. Alex Pape Jones, Pape Jones, Pape <laughs> Alex Jones' next big break, he's like, now, nah, now, nah, we went through this spending bill. There's an item here for $60,000 to pay to pape to have gay sex with Paul Pelosi. <laughs> it's right here in the documents, folks. <laughs> <laughs> they just leave it in as a line item. They're like, 60000 paid to pape to kill Paul Pelosi. <laughs> there it is. Ah. Now he wants that, man. And I do, too. I'll say it. What do you want? Pelosi on ice. I don't. I think it's like one of the right. things you can't say you, online. <laughs> I, think, I think you've also said that on... On another episode of our <laughs> podcast, whatever. Yeah, she's she rocks. I mean, I meant like at an ice bar, like a nice ice bar. You I'd know, like to you see know those bars that are carved out of ice. Oh, I you thought you meant like, like a ice, like a skating rink. Do you know like those bars? I'd love to see the new musical Pelosi on ice, and the sort of climax is when. <laughs> do you do you Paul know the paper? <laughs> just a fat schlubby guy in like a wife beater. His hair's all messed up. <laughs> well, he's skating, wearing he's wearing a rainbow with flag a and a BLM. Why is he wearing? Because <laughs> I don't all think confusing. he did like that stuff. You know, a better on ice. It's <laughs> confusing. A better Wait, what? Because <laughs> well, he... <laughs> he's wearing all that confusing crap. He's wearing all that crap that confuses me. No. <laughs> No, I know what you mean. Like it's he's both sides. Well, because he lived at the house, had the BLM flag, and right, right, and so, but yet he had these some sort of conservative leaning people think possibly. Well, I think the ice for the the ice show. I think it should be the pape comes out, he's skating, and then dramatic music comes in. It's a person ice skating in a big hammer costume. Right. Oh, I, and the pape is like, who's this? Well, the pape is like, there's some sort of you know singing musical dialogue you know to papes yeah la, la, you know and yeah. the hammer's like there's like you know scary music coming and the hammer's skating around and and the hammer it's coming eventually. for paul and paul's like 
you the know, cops come. He's and got a bottle. Paul Pelosi. Yeah, I was gonna say Paul Pelosi. Or maybe Pelosi. there's another person, but another actor, performer in a big bottle costume, but a really around good, the rink as well. I think Paul Pelosi should be like a really good, like a skater, an ice skater who's so well trained that they can be like falling and stumbling like while skating, yeah. and they keep like falling on the ice. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen David DePape and Nancy Pelosi in the same in room <laughs> at the same time? You think she tried to whack her husband? I think she's like a Tyler Durden situation. You think of the same person? Yeah. Wait, you think it's like a Tyler Durden situation, but but that Tyler Durden... True. We have never seen Pelosi and DePape in the same Tyler room. Tyler Durden time. was never in the room. Nice. The other... Yeah, okay. It's a fight... You want me to say you, it's a fight club but situation? But you watched it. It would be loser. funny. It would be funny if Jack watched Fight Club and he's like... Oh, they were the same guy and he was changing into him every time like you just totally the conceit of the film you, you think he's like dressing up as him every time this is every time it's showing him you just have the wrong read on the movie dude the read on the movie is that it is him it is Edward Norton the whole time yeah I know dude do you get that <laughs> alright boys let's get out yeah, of the weeds here you, uh -oh. you guys agree you I'm never realized that this is just a serious, separate idea. You never realized that Fight Club Edward Norton. You Brad never realized Pitt. that Fight Club happened. Hold on, you guys. We need to take a break, <laughs> dude. Brad Pitt's video is just. Hold on, Fight Club came up. Uh, this, 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 we're gonna have to take classic <laughs> Fight Club break so they can duel it out. There's a video that, and if we look at the video, it's just Sam and I sitting in chairs, and Jack's not here. And I'm like, no, you didn't get Fight Club <laughs> to nothing. Nice man. Fucking a. Fuck. You notice that those oh, ice the bars... Fight Club is the only thing that you guys can get serious about. Those bars made out of ice. What does that mean, you know? It's the only thing you guys get seriously... You guys are seriously peeved about is Fight Club. It's really what it is is like the facts of a movie or something. Like I was making a joke no. about like, what about a guy mm -hmm. who doesn't get a movie? Jack's no. like, no, I do get it. No, I get the movie. Because you guys have never gotten upset about other movies. Do you it's get just Walter Mitty? You think that's really... Don't try and change the subject. I'm trying to say... That's in his I mind. feel like you guys really... Yeah. Secret Life? I feel like Fight Club really spoke to both of you guys, right? Well, so, you, have you seen Walter I'll Mitty? I'll tell you what spoke to me, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. <laughs> oh, so is that Steve Carell, isn't that? Right? No. <laughs> it's Ben Stiller. It's Steve Zahn. I don't know what, even what that is. <laughs> Steve <And> Zahn. Jack's, <laughs> Jack's in the theater. Hey, dude, come on. It's Steve Zahn. <laughs> the Secret Life of Walter Mitty is like <laughs> so forgettable, and Jack's just in the theater being like, wow, this is a good movie. Dude, yeah. it is a good movie. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it is a fucking good movie. It's a, it's a surprisingly good movie. It has the appearance the of thing. a good movie. He doesn't actually do those things. He's imagining them in his mind. It's like it's like Walter Brendan, Mitty. You know, yeah, Walter Mitty. Walter Mitty. What did we say first? Secret Life of Walter. Mitty. I'm not. Oh yeah. Walter, I'm not criticizing Smith. I'm just saying Walter Mitty. Well, have you guys say, seen uh, Saving I'm Silver? I'm just saying Walter Mitty. <laughs> saving just, Silver. Man. Look, guys. I'm just saying. What Walter about, Mitty. What about think, Saving Silverman? Do you Silverman? think in Saving Silverman they're actually it. trying to save his marriage? Or do you think it's like it's just a movie about like a silly well, situation? Like, I've seen that movie like in 50 15 years. First dates, 50 first dates, she has her memory the whole time. And Adam Sandler just kidnaps this woman and puts her on a boat. Yeah, well, that's the joke it's, of the movie. It's an unreliable narrator. Adam Sandler makes joke movies. Right. The joke of the movie is that it's not he's like awesome. Fight Club. He's, through his mind, he's like, she's like, oh, who are you? I want to get out of here. And he's like, you just don't. Re you movies. just don't remember. What? Da, da. He makes movies, but they're like a joke. They're like they have jokes. jokes in them. <laughs> yeah, dude. You, 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 yeah, I don't think you understand gems. this. The difference between well, he didn't make that movie. Uncut gems. That's not Happy no, Gilmore. No, he did make it. He was in it. That's the rule. If you're in it, you have made it. Isn't there a Happy Gilmore crossover with the Safty boys? Isn't that happening? Yeah, Mr. Deeds. <laughs> Mr. Deeds. Most misery <laughs> deeds. Oh, you were saying misery <laughs> deeds. Yeah. <laughs> misery deeds was gonna be Elliot. Yeah, Smith. I think the Safety brothers didn't they make Big Daddy? <laughs> Wasn't that? that? I uh, I think I think they did uh, some work yeah, on. Yeah, they did. Uh, Eight Crazy Nights. I think is what you're thinking of the animated one. Yeah, I was gonna say that was like a song he sang. Oh, but they, you're right. They did make the animated movie. You think Cheaper by the Dozen is about? With dozen donuts, guys. What do you think Cheaper by the Dozen's really about? <laughs> <laughs> Where it comes, it's about donuts. 
Hey. This is about donuts. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's about donuts, man. You know right, what I get, think, man? You might be about donuts. Yeah, I, think it's, I think it's like if you buy a dozen, it's a little cheaper. Uh, it's a guy It's a guy sitting next to you in spilling popcorn all over. He's like, <laughs> man, I always thought a dozen like a donut thing. I didn't know you could just use that word for other stuff. <laughs> like movies and such. Like movies and amounts of kids and shit. <laughs> what does that mean? The kids are donut style kids? Cheaper by the dozen, but it's a bunch of kids. These kids are... <laughs> what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They're what? They bake too? Well, I mean, and the whole thing with the, the gay <laughs> museum. That's unrealistic. <laughs> what? I mean... The bakers, guess, all of them? <laughs> I guess the whole gay museum... Let's, well, they just gonna let's put for that context. In. For context, <laughs> we already talked about. Did we context talk about it? in the last episode? We did. Yeah. I'm calling back. Um, the character's talking about the game museum. Anyways, okay, that's in the spending we bill. We talked about it in both episodes. They're gonna no have. Way, you really? know what they're gonna have in the future? It's on our minds. A gamer, heavy right now. a gamer museum. They will have that. Yeah, it was it's just like the sickest chairs. It's gonna be on the Washington Wall. And it's gonna have the dopest chairs. It'll Rock be right Forest between. Tuna. It'll like be a big fucking... hallway of chairs. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be between the Holocaust the Museum years. and the Spy Museum, probably. <laughs> it'll be <laughs> crammed right in there. It'll be a hole museum. in the wall. I went to I went to D.C. once, and I like. We were going to the Holocaust Museum for fun, and the spy like, museum is what just are these cars that have like it's just an weapons eye, on them. It's like <laughs> just an eye shot of the Holocaust Museum, <laughs> and I was like, I wanted to go to the spot, the spy museum, so bad, so you know? much more. It would have been so much more fun. Well, well I, I know somebody that did I go feel to like the spy museum. Big, yeah, it would have been more fun. I guess that's you know you can't debate that, <laughs> but. <laughs> I would have had so much more I reverence. Know, I for had this. a lot of fun in the Holocaust Museum. <laughs> <laughs> it was one, really informative. I, the one I don't a know. Great time. Remember the one I in LA? It was pretty funny. I mean, there's a lot of like. It would be worse if you said that. Like, <laughs> it'd be worse if you said like, I have a lot more reverence for the Spy Museum. I like to go in the Spy Museum and more. more. It just affects me. <laughs> more. I just mourn. <laughs> I just had it had a much more profound effect on me. A lot of me. spies have died. Oh man, the spy museum would have been way more emotionally moving, dude. <laughs> I remember the cards they give you at the L.A. Because there, the there were spies. Because mm-hmm. there were spies. Continue. The L.A. Holocaust Museum. They at the beginning they give you a card with a Jew on it, and then like they go, "You'll see if they survived by the end of your trip." Uh, oh fuck that! And then uh, at the end you go, "That huh, seems my too- Jew died." <laughs> and then you go. No, uh, and you're like, I a, guess it, yes, you're like I a guess 14 it, year old asshole, and you're just like, now I get it. <laughs> wow, it really was sad. I'll uh, get back on the bus. Can we get lays? Can we get lays? Can on the we way get home? laid? <laughs> Who does it? <laughs> Who does the guy Who's have to dick fuck? Do you got to suck around here to get fucked. <laughs> that was one of Sam's more popular escapades. Is a prolific having sex at the Holocaust Museum? <laughs> no, on the bus after. <laughs> Just getting ripe pipe. <laughs> <laughs> just in an unseat belted bus, just getting ripe pipe. <laughs> just getting some quiet pipe. Oh, uh, yeah. Cheaper Brother does the new movie. <laughs> we'll be playing on the fucking monitor. The new movie, A Quiet Pipe. <laughs> shh, shh, pipe me. <laughs> You're just saying it to another little boy who's like. I no. <laughs> what? What are you saying? You're into paper and training. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> shh, I'm up into paper and training. I have a hammer. <laughs> I, I, I received a download at the, the Spy Museum. I need you to... <laughs> I have a hammer. I was paid $60,000 by an unknown entity. It would be cool. I'm a sleeper so I woke up at the <laughs> Holocaust Museum. I was supposed to be at the Spy Museum. I need you to yeah. pipe me quick. Whenever they play this certain music... Just a quickie on the hammer. bus before the spy go hammers. <laughs> I want to bring up my hammer Don't and I want to go. Don't play Tchaikovsky. <laughs> Don't play Tchaikovsky. Because it activates him? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to have to play. hammer your brains out if you play Tchaikovsky. <laughs> it's Paul Pelosi's favorite. They've known that forever. He's always playing it. Yeah. Um, Fuck. What if, they, what if they used the spy museum as like... It was like a CIA recruitment thing in there. It's just like just a little kid who's like, wow, the spy plane's so cool. And then like a super obvious guy in like a suit comes over and he's like, hey. Um. <laughs> Injects the kid. Yeah. Inject- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how he recruits him. He goes, uh, hey, um, you're in the CIA now. Hey, hey. Injects him with a you know near lethal dose of LSD. 
Fuck yeah, he's playing it old school. Yeah. <laughs> Ties the kid just, down. It's the one guy just rocking the MK Ultra shit still. Yeah. In like 1998. They had those, those like, uh, you know, Clockwork Orange eye, yeah, eye openers. Yeah. And this is all in the spy museum still. Oh, this is neat. Well, the way they, the <laughs> thing with the, <laughs> the kid's still the into kid's it. Eyes are, <laughs> I don't miss my mom. <laughs> They're just playing like <laughs> horrific scenes <laughs> with the eye splitters open. They're just yeah. playing a clockwork Whoa! orange. Yeah, they um the CIA is kind of <laughs> low budget and they want to save some cash, so they just <laughs> snip out the scenes of whatever he was watching in a clockwork orange and they just use that same stuff. Yep. <sighs> Man, that'd be funny. Jan Lee Kubrick. Jan Lee Kubrick. Jan Lee Kubrick, his bro. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, um, some good flicks, huh? Little bro, why, wow. don't you go, why don't you make this one? <laughs> little bro? Yes, Stanley. Yeah, you make house, Jan-Li, cider house um, rules, man. Janley, can you make cider house <laughs> rules? Uh, it's a Janley Kubrick special. <laughs> this one's a Janley Kubrick joint. <laughs> cider house rules? Prepare for your mind to be blown. <laughs> you know, a lot of people um think that Janley Kubrick, he faked the DePape murder. <laughs> and he that was all in a sound studio all that footage of the pelosi household was all right on a sound stage that in back, los angeles that, all the footage being just the backyard smash window. yeah yeah they recreated the whole <laughs> big house well he also made the the paul pelosi um dui arrest video uh i haven't seen that i haven't seen it either pull it up i think it's not that good to watch it's yeah like you can't yeah. really hear what he's saying but it is just he clearly is drunk i'm drunk all right. Look, I'm you drunk. I'm going to get murdered in like two years. Can I'm you just drunk. let this one go? Uh, do, do you, you know who you, I am? Oh, okay. Uh, you should buy... Not, not you really. You should uh, buy shit. You should I'm buy Inazex. You should buy Inazex soon. It's, <laughs> it's going to go way up. Man, you should buy him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Inazex. You should buy going disease. To it's a child fucking drug. It's for uh, fucking kids. It's like <laughs> extends, but for pedophiles. <laughs> In his ex. <laughs> oh god! It's I'm telling you, insider trading tips. What? I'm telling you, insider trading rocks. You gotta get into this. You gotta you gotta shack up with some congressperson. I make a bunch of money all the time. It's crazy. Do you think Paul Pelosi's ever used the word "tiggle biddies" <laughs> in reference to describe his wife? <laughs> Maybe just once try it on. That's what I'm saying. Just once a couple of years ago. <laughs> to Paul. And then, he, and then he's drinking. <laughs> to his buddy at the bar, Paul. <laughs> to Paul. Paul and like, him are just anyway, chilling. see you later, Paul. I love that we can have these personal private chats. Paul's like, I don't really like to speak about women that way. Wait, he is Paul. We're talking about David DePape, right? I thought his name's Paul DePape, too. I thought they are both it's, Pauls. No, Paul it's Pelosi. the dance of two Pauls. <laughs> <laughs> two Paul dancing. <laughs> Is his what name was David? his name? Philip Philip DePape. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Roth DePape. <laughs> oh, I just like the idea thinks it's clear. What was his name? Samuel DePape? <laughs> that guy? Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter, man. No. I won't look it up. He's just DePape, man, in he's, my mind. He is. He's he's just the, the DePape, man. I DePape. saw, I saw DePape, a... DePape, man. I hadn't been on Twitter in like maybe a week, and I just logged on today, and it was like... Oh, cool. And there was a video of those robot dogs, like a thousand of them in a warehouse a fleet, all, all just bending down like this. <coughs> They're like bowing to like a center. And I just thought, um, oh, that's that's cool. <laughs> that's, um, yeah, that'll be interesting. What was in the center? Just a guy in his end, in his end supplement. Yeah, a guy, a it's guy, all related. it's all related. Um, yeah, why did they use Paul? Why I, brought that up. I forgot center, why I brought that up. Well, uh, weren't you saying in well, the center was up. the NFL? <laughs> the NFL robot was in the center. What's <laughs> the NFL robot, dude? The Sunday you talking about the Sunday robots? <laughs> <laughs> the game, the game robots. The game Damn. bot was the game bot. You know what? It's so game funny. Bot. That's like I never watched Sunday football, football growing up or anything. But in the same the way robos. that when we talked about the crazy the frog video. I was like, <laughs> he's dancing with the ball. I know in my brain that I saw the the uh, crazy frog video and like the hover bike. I have a distinct memory of not giving a fuck about football, and it must have like been some really popular game because that's the only reason we would have it on. And uh, seeing the game robots, and be like, well, that is pretty sick. I guess yeah. I'll watch this football game to see the 
three second clips See some at the more bottom of the, of the, the bumper robot. The, like, bo- the robot well, bumpers. Well, that is pretty cool. Yeah, they have for a sure. Bot. Do they still have the game bot? Huh? They still do game bot? I think that's pretty much all I paid attention to as a kid. Yeah, football. the game bot? Yeah, I don't think they do. Sure. I but, think the game bot's gone. I think it's gone by the wayside. Uh, it shows no, what I know. No, it's in a commercial. I watch Thursday Night, Night Football it's commercial. it's on Amazon Prime. Well, if it's still going, do they ever address why it's a robot? That's kind of weird. <laughs> like, that is kind of odd that they just, if they never address why there is robots. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. I don't just know if shut, you want to get to the bottom. I don't know. Shut if, your mouth on that one. Do yeah. you think that? We're going to get the pod shut down. They should have had one of them do the DePape thing instead of ruining this poor sap's life. They should have one of what the I brought NFL up. robots. I think DePape is one of those Boston Dynamics robot dogs. I don't even think he's a real guy. Yeah. And the way they do it isn't they make like a human robot. They just take one of the dogs and put it in a human suit. It's all like loose and fits wrong. <laughs> it's just flappy. Skin. Well, there's the idea it's of like, like men in black. Uh, there's like first there's like a mugshot photo of them, and then like there's some video. Water, like, I'm gay. You know, we've detained the suspect. We detained the suspect, and it's just clearly <laughs> just <laughs> you're like, oh, let me make this unusable right here. Oh, let's oh, let's have him clip this out. No, sugar water. I'm gay is fine to say at this point in the pod. I meant he was the paper. Anyway. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. Because saying De Pape was actually a gay prostitute is okay. <laughs> That's okay to say. That's okay. Um. So let's go for just a couple more minutes. I think we'll wrap this up. Let's just do some thoughts. We had a lot of laughs. We talked about the pape. We didn't we talk about, about Wrangler Star at all. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. shit! Yeah, we'll just have I to save that. Yeah, I don't think that's good. It is. He's a good guy to do a tube about. Because no, I just don't think we have enough time. No, I do no. think it would take too much time. Yeah. I was kind of thinking, oh, we could just check in, but it's not like I, that. well. I've been watching it. Long I have enough stuff like written a, down on my phone. Like okay, stuff let's I do some rapid up fires and then end it. Here you go. Just some rapid fires. Got a few of these here. Do you guys ever tell random women they're so pretty? <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> what happened? The, you're like, we, we do your rapid fires. You're like, uh, okay. <clears throat> what is this? Do you guys think catcalling is actually all right? It's just a note. It is actually just a note on the so, notes app. I, you're I just don't saying, do that. You're just saying. I don't do that. I'm just saying it's funny you. to think that like. <laughs> it's a funny You're question. saying it's funny. I mean, you it's just asked it as a question. That, yeah. Do you do that? Come on, Brendan. Um, have you ever done that? Just, I, and and not not even trying to get something out of it, just being like, you know what? I just want to let you know you're so fucking pretty. I think that <laughs> a couple times, maybe in my life, I've God, told, you're so gorgeous. I, I just want to. Hey, I've never I don't said even that. want anything out of this. I'm gonna get out of here. You're the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will if I'm like flirting with somebody online or something. I might say something, but I try That's to be specific. Man. You're I already to, engaging right, in a, a flirt. Right, but I mean, I you know, and I also you know wait, because I'm like, wait, go back. You're flirting online? How on Tinder? You're yeah, yeah, what? yeah. Oh. We can talk about that at some point. That's it's a fucking hell app. Yeah, but that's different. I'm saying like you're in, in a, life. You're at a grocery you know store and you're overcome memory. by like how pretty a woman is. I have a vague memory of telling someone at some point. This would be years ago, like that their voice was really pretty or something. Like well, a stranger, kind of a really stranger. nice voice, a stranger. Yeah. That's kind of like that, a that's a pretty good one. I feel like because it's not like it's physical. Not so. I mean, I definitely just was attracted to it, but mm. I, you know, it, you wouldn't immediately, because the thing about the physical compliments, right, is the idea is that it could make someone suddenly hyper aware of their body and how other people are seeing it. But Whereas the, the voice, voice went a little less so, maybe. Well, you could. They'd be like, oh my God, this guy, my voice. It could happen. Cut my throat out of my head. God, this voice guy, what is he, Ted Bundy? <laughs> I'll what fixate it on weird crap. Or he should just, with, he should he just, just be with telling porn? me I have huge bazongas. <laughs> then I'd know he's normal. Exactly. Okay, I got another one. Do you guys ever, this is just a thing that I actually do. I did the other day. Do you guys ever say like, ah, oh, geez, fucking kill myself in front of like the wrong people? Yes. <laughs> I did that on the phone with Jeff and Tallulah and they <laughs> reacted poorly. I was, I forget, I was talking about driving up there and I was like, all right, well, I'm going to go slam my car into a barrier at 80 miles an hour or something like that. And they were like, oh, come on, don't say that. And I was like, guys, I'm not really going to do it probably. Wink. 
<laughs> I'm not really going to do it wink. in like the next 12 months wink. at least. Don't let me drive. <laughs> Yo, I'm not. Just stop me then if you care. <laughs> Don't I, just get mad at me for saying it. Tell me why I shouldn't do it. Jeez. The other, the other day I was like an open mic or something. And I was surrounded by comedians. I thought I was in a safe space, you know? And so I was like, mm. I said something. And then I was like, yeah, and then I'll probably go to the gun store and blow the old brains out. <laughs> That's funny, dude. <laughs> and everyone fully stopped, and there was like a circle <laughs> on the table. And they're like, a plate breaks in the back. This guy's sad. Well, they didn't even address it, and they were like, It's because okay, they all kill themselves, yeah. probably. They're like, yep. I don't they think they do. I think it's that themselves. thing where those those that's that type of comedian or like more of sort of improv type of comedians. Like, oh yeah, improvisers. I'm getting into comedy you because just clarify like, you're talking about improv. There are a couple improvisers of, don't want a KMS. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, they only work clean too. Well, they're like, I'm gonna get into no comedy. KMS. I'm gonna like figure it out. It's gonna be a thing. I'm gonna like, you know. Well, they're like optimistic. They have yeah. to believe something will go well. That's <laughs> in, in, it's, that's why it is because they're doing improv, so they have to walk on stage and like. Well, I'll figure it out, and that will be good. Whatever I figure out. Hey, come watch me figure you, it out. <laughs> you have to be a glass uh, half full person to do improv. It's true. Yeah, you can't be like a sardonic fucking prick. Yeah, or like you can try. Like you, I, I'm kind of a sardonic prick, and I did improv, <laughs> but like it felt crazy scary every time. Yeah, it is. It's frightening. Sam, you did a couple years at UCB, didn't you? You went to the. Um, <laughs> yeah, you did the Franklin. <sighs> Wasn't there one on Franklin? Of yeah. course. Yeah, I went to the Franklin one. And, and Sam, do you like zip zap zop? Or do you <laughs> are you more of a <laughs> are you more of an electric company guy? Electric company I do guy. Bumblebee Tuna. Oh, oh yeah, I haven't yeah. played that one. Is that a Chicago game? <laughs> How does that go? You have a loaded gun. <laughs> and you want to die. <laughs> <laughs> and you just try not and to you're worry trying, trying, a And you're trying to kill yourself and people are trying to stop you. <laughs> And it's all improvisers, so you just And then there's a song it. you sing. It's, I love Bumblebee, Bumblebee Tuna. I love Bumblebee, Bumblebee Tuna. If they tuna. stop you, but they never do, because they're all like limp-wristed, and they can't stop you. You yeah. come in. Mommy made my, so you can me say mash that, my but M&Ms. I can't say anything. Limp-wristed, I'm not saying because they're gay. I'm saying they're weak. Oh, limp-wristed means gay. But it always means that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I can't reclaim that and reappropriate it. just mean like a bitch ass, though? No. Mm. They're running around. They're lighting the loafers, trying to stop you from killing yourself. Yeah, okay, I guess well, when you like use, use more. Well, when you use that <laughs> one, use well, more phrases. I'll say this. Well, I'm now giving, I see I'm, what I'm you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I can't just decide what it means. Right. So anyway, although I could kind of see lighting the loafers coming back, just to mean a kind of an aloof kind of guy, an aloof guy, kind of floating up above his loafers. Yeah, like a guy who's just not really like a space cadet. You know, you could say lighting the loafers to mean that. I hope that's where that goes. <laughs> I hope the best for the light and the left. Yeah, I, I hope, hope it, it sticks around that. and it becomes good. Am I? I, I don't know. <laughs> I got a couple. Can anyone explain like to me what <laughs> what light or heavy in the loafers would? Yeah, what so that heavy in loafers is like you just slam puss all day. Long. So, <laughs> so you're just bought, I, what your I'm body saying is your vaginas. And what I'm saying going, is oh, where the phrase. So, you're, so I'm your saying, shoes give a mighty clunk every time you step. I guess down. I'm just saying where the you're phrase comes from. Wet with pussy juices. What? The phrase comes from the stomp. No, it comes from being like a. Like a, like a fairy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't see how that kind of, as an idiom, you don't see how that works. If you Not have a perception quite. of gay people as like weak and sissies and I mean, stuff and, like that, I mean, you don't loafers. see how light in the loafers could mean that? They're kind of floating already you know, off the ground. I, I see, see it as a more like of a they're magical sl- They're thing. diminutive <laughs> in the view of someone who is homophobic. I guess I just don't way. understand because like, it's like old time. anyone who's wearing loafers, right? I mean. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You're saying you, the, the phrase should just be loafer wear. <laughs> the phrase should just be guy in loafers. Uh, guy, guy wearing loafers. I'm not right saying here. that. Good test out on that. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Guy in loafers. Yeah, no, it does work. <laughs> Homerphobic. What do you not like the Battle of Troy? Homerphobic. <laughs> Doe. Shit. <laughs> Homophobic, do much? <laughs> no, like do much? Because he's phobic of it. <laughs> no, like do much. He was um, a general, right? <laughs> he was yeah. a he was a general in um, the uh, war <laughs> war of independence. That, that was pretty cool, actually. That war. You know what yeah, I found out? Yeah. You find you, Hades check pretty this incredible. Out. This blew Country. my fucking mind. You know they just made them pay that debt back, right? You know about this? 
yeah, this yeah, is actually yeah. from these crazy world things. That so Haiti has the slave revolt, right? Okay, and then France goes, all right, but since we lost a slave colony, a bunch of slaves, you owe us like what was then a fuck ton of money, and because like Europe was still all you know. Well, it's, you know, they're still racist, but they were like not even playing around. They were they they just kind of enforced it. You know, they were like, yeah, you do got to pay it back. Oh fuck! And so Haiti was making these debt payments for years, for years and years. And then at one point, check this out: to pay the debt to France, Haiti took out a loan from the United States of America that was serviced by like Citibank, just Holy an American shit. bank. I think it was Citibank. They just took out like a huge loan from Citibank. So then what the situation was, was that Haiti was making payments to Citibank to pay for the money that they gave to France for breaking free of slavery. And I think that stretched like well into the 1800s. Like, And then what I also like too is that you know, they had other debts or whatever, and like France. It's called Citibank in the 1800s? No, it's it called something whatever else. Whatever it was. It was called before something else. It became city. Well, yeah, but I town, don't... town yeah, Bank. Yeah, it must have been called Town Bank, but spelled funny as well, probably. <laughs> yeah, probably two N's and an E. I'm probably, get, I'm probably getting just a bunch of debts wrong. Town too. Banky. Do you know how they did that, though? It was like a big part of that was like this guy, and it was like half mythic, but there's this guy, Mac Undall, this one armed guy, and he like poisoned the food supply of the island. And fucking killed all the Frenchmen because they ate like rotted meat and shit. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's it's That's really fucking sick. Yeah, there's a good book called uh, Kingdom of This World by Alejo Carpentier, and he like it's like half um, magical realism kind of. It's good. Talks about Mackendall. gets his arm ripped off in like a big press, big, big. He's a true. He's a true. He's a true character of history, though. Yeah, he's, he's a, a real true, guy. Oh, it's a historical character. Yeah, but they think he like when he died. I think they burned him at the stake, and when he died, he like shot up into a hawk. He flew off, and he like stayed with the revolt. You know, he kept the revolt alive. Dude, wait. I like saying stuff on the pod because I could. Just, it's that's all half right. <laughs> You're saying I'm he turned of, into I'm a hawk. Well, that's what I'm doing, but <laughs> in the book, <laughs> in the magical realism, book. in legend, as well. in legend, in legend, in that's a, that legend, like that's yeah. that's told as well. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking. Did sick. you look up Mackendall? You're I saying think... he just turned into a hawk, escaped the flames, and just fucking flew off. Yeah. Spread the re- revolution. Dude, I think they were still collecting the debt in like the fifties. Holy shit! They were Dude. still making him pay it. Well, what the fuck? That's crazy. You know about the guy too that I mean it's that that adds up though. That I mean, took it's, over. That's fucked, it's just but really insane. It's a, it's yeah, it totally, does add up. But holy I'm saying shit. like I didn't know about that. Yeah, but it doesn't. Necessarily well, here's shock the other me. thing that. But what I was gonna say just and then them to that when I when, I'm giving you this half baked guys just hearing about it also. But yeah. another thing that was crazy about it. You're upset or no. I think it's interesting just yeah, for I'm saying saying, yeah. Even. But check this out. So they're paying it way late. That's crazy to think that they were having to pay the a U.S. bank for their slave revolt in like the 1900s. Um, and then I guess like some debts have been forgiven to Haiti because you know like later in like the 90s and the 2000s, everyone was like, oh. Check this out, though. All right. Continue. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> They then France was like, uh, France has like forgiven some smaller debts to Haiti that have just mm. gone through, like, you know, I oh, guess it's like IMF them. related, yeah. But, <laughs> but this is what's cool. So, like, countries are like, look, it's not cool to make Haiti pay a bunch of money to all of Europe and stuff, we should stop. And I think the US might have forgiven some of us, but then Haiti was like, like, recently, like, this would have been in the 2000s, I think. Haiti was like, you know, France, you're all progressive and liberal now, that's so cool. You know what you should do is pay us back the debt right. that you made us pay you for, for sure. breaking three, free of slavery. And the French government was unanimous. They're all just like, no, no, we won't. We can't do that. Like, they'll even put on a face for forgiving these smaller debts. But for the big debt, they're like, no, we'll never do it. Sorry. It'll never happen. They need the money. 
for all the they need also, the, I mean, how much? Arondis what is the amount? They need the money to hate Muslims more effectively. <laughs> what would the what year was the amount? The debt. When did they start paying it? Like Haiti. When they was that started. Happen? They were forced to take the loan or something. Uh, let's see. I mean, how much was it? I guess is what I'm getting at because it would be a lower number in today's money. It would not be that hard for France to probably pay it back. No, it'd be more. be more. It would be the same amount of money, but at a different amount of it. They wouldn't. Well, you're saying. Wait, do you want to know the value of the loan or the actual loan? <laughs> I'll say this: there was another guy that came into we power. Got never right. Look it up. Sure, after the, the revolt, I don't know. Look well, it up. He was bad too. Crazy. He was bad too. Who? All I'm saying is France could afford it. Is what the guy who say who was bad too. Like the guy after they kicked out the French and did the rebellion, <clears throat> he like was really bad and he had he was oh, like, yeah. let's do slavery again. And he was a black guy. And then they're like, nah. And they kicked him into like a, a pit. They, they kicked him into this like concrete and built the house on top of him. Whoa. Get owned. Yeah. But in a better way. Could be half true as well, guys. Look that up. <laughs> you just made that up fully. You're like, <laughs> no, yeah, that's that was real. like a, a part of Beetlejuice or something. <laughs> um, God, that's funny shit, man. Which part? Just the whole history of everything bad. You know, it's funny. No, in it's a not really. Way, I guess in a certain way, I guess indeed. Like, like the Salem witch trials are pretty hilarious if you look at them. <laughs> right. Stance, like, I mean, it's funny that the French <laughs> suck. That they yeah, that's just, well. Like, yeah, I guess back. it's not that's funny. Pretty, it's Charles just Corey's shocking like, to me that no one knows wait. it. But also, it's one of those things where, like, we. But the the U.S. bank part is funny to me. Imagine ma- imagine naming a guy Giles but that we don't know Corey. that, we're, that we were implicated in yeah, something like, oh, that horrible Haiti? as well. Oh, that's crazy! They're making them pay to yeah. break free of being being slaves. Who are they paying it to? Oh, us. Oh, oh we, cool. have a, we have a we, <laughs> but we when? have a wait. We have somehow, a beautiful oh, son. they're paying us. They're oh, paying, well. We're getting cash off that. <laughs> oh, they're paying interest on that. It's sixteen hundred. We're making money. We off have a beautiful it. son. What do we? What should we name him? I don't know. Giles, maybe. <laughs> Man, I want to call my kid <laughs> Yates. <laughs> Yeats. <laughs> <laughs> nice. WB. I'm going to call my kid WB. <laughs> Wonk Bonkus. <laughs> Wonk Bonkus Yates, the poet, dude. The poet who knew too much. Who wrote... <laughs> <laughs> who wrote Canterbury Tales? Chaucer. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna name, name your guy, kid Chaucer? Jeffrey Chaucer. Name your kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like you're hearing the name, you're like Jeffrey. Okay, Chaucer. <laughs> Kill that kid. Right? Don't let him write any books. Let me get. Let me get one in. <laughs> let me get one in. Um, let me go farther back than that. Okay. Father back in Charles. Okay, who are you gonna name your kid Eve? Come on, God. <laughs> Come on, God. That's funny. I I was He made her dude. I was thinking about how that's, there was like a missing dad, link. Dude. There's like that ancestor we're all related to. That's primate? Like a, yeah, like a primate called Eve, but I like where your head is that too. How you gonna <laughs> How you gonna name a sheep Dolly? Or whatever. And clone its ass? Come on. <laughs> I'm running on fumes here. Yeah, no, we gotta just end. <laughs> it ended what about it? We might even not air the last just thirty minutes of this. How you gonna how you gonna name Toby Maguire? How you gonna name a guy? It's like Toby. four names. <laughs> you got Toe, B, Mac, and Guire? Greatest. Pick a couple of those. For name the your greatest kid. actor of our generation. If he's going to be the greatest actor of our generation, <laughs> name him Toe Guire. Make it less complicated. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess that's a good place to leave it. Huh? Name your kid Mao Zay Don't. <laughs> and maybe he won't do so much. It's over. It's been Mal- over. <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking Mao Zay Cow Dung. What about Mao? <laughs> what, yeah, what about Mao Zay Dung? And he's a 90 year old guy who fucked cow patties. And his name's Mount Zay Dung.